Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. In the first part of our lecture on stock valuation, we looked at the introduction. Then we looked at one period dividend discount model, multi period dis dividend discount model. We also looked at the Gordon growth model. If you have not looked at all this, consider checking them out on our YouTube channel. Click some of these cards that are showing up here. In the first part of uh, the non constant growth model, we looked at the two stage growth model. If you have not watched that, kindly click on this card up here. In this part, which is the B part, we are going to look at the non constant growth in the first stage, where the dividend growth are not the same. So maybe it will grow 10% this year, next year it will grow 5% then 12 percent then later it will now be constant so how do we solve that the long constant growth in the first stage this assume firm will temporary growth grow at a different rate from its long-term growth so the rate of growth will be different growth in the first year might be 10 percent in the second year it might be 15 percent in the third year it might be five percent so the growth is different then later it can maintain the same growth rate they can be solved using the second method that i mentioned in the first part of this lecture and the method is the first thing you do for each of those uh, dividend in those uh, non-constant growth stage in the first stage find the present value of each dividend during the period of non-constant growth and sum them then find the expected stock price at the end of the non-constant growth period so where this dividend where it stop you look for the price of the stock at that period then you discount it back to the present you find the present value of that price then you add the value you get from this first stage you add it to the discounted value of that price at that period that is the intrinsic value of the stock let's take an example and see a company paid 3 naira 48 kobo, 4 naira, 3 naira 50 kobo per share for the next three years. After then, it will grow at 8% indefinitely. So at this point, we we'll use the Gordon growth model. Then if the rate of return is 18%, what is the price of the stock today? So let's use the second method to solve this. First, we bring down the parameter. First dividend is 3 naira 48 kobo. Second dividend is 4 naira. The third dividend is 3 naira 50 kobo. We can see clearly these dividends are different. This is different from this, this is different from this. So the growth rate is not constant. Then thereafter, the growth will be 8% indefinitely and our cost of capital is 18% or the required rate of return is 18%. So the first thing we do, we we'll find the present value of dividend, present value of dividend. So the first one is 3 naira 48 kopo, that is the first year. And we are discounting using 18%, 1.18. This is for one year. The second one, the second one is 4 naira. In the second year, 1.18. It's the power 2. The third one is 3 naira 50 cover. 1.18. Is to power three so this if we if we do this we have two naira 95 cover 
the second one to naira 37 kobo we'll do this we have uh, two naira 13 kobo when we add them together the present value of this dividend is seven naira 95 kobo so this is the first part the second part is we find the price at the end of year three price at the end of year three using the golden growth model don't forget our golden growth model so at the end of year three this golden growth model the p3 will be so if you see here we have zero we have one here so if it's three here then the dividend will be dividend at year four d4 all over k e minus g our d4 is we take the dividend at year three the dividend at year three and we increment it using the growth rate so the dividend at year 3 is 3 naira 50 cover times 1.08 so we have 3.78 so the p3 will be 3.78 that is our d4 divided by the ke which is 0. 18 minus the g which is 0 0.08 which is 8 percent so if we divide it we'll have 37 naira 80 cover now this price we we'll need to find present value of p3 so the present value of p3 will be p3 is 37.8 Divide by 1.18, that is our cost of capital raised to power 3. So this is 23 naira 1 cover. So after you find this, we now add this value with the value that we got earlier, which is this. So if we add the two value, then our PO, which is the intrinsic value of the stock, will be 7 Naira 95 Kobo plus 23 Naira 1 Kobo. So the final answer is 30 Naira 96 Kobo. So this is how we find for non-constant growth in the first stage. So the solution they are explained here first you find the present value of the dividend this is the value we got then the expected stock price at the end of the non constant using the eight percent so this is the modify go down growth model so this is the d4 if we put it we have 37 naira 80 cover we find the present value of this price we have 23 naira one cover we add this now to this so we have 30 naira 96 cover so this brings us to the end of this lecture if you enjoyed this lecture kindly subscribe to our youtube channel you can like share and comment on the content to help us improve on it if you want to support the channel, you can buy me coffee by clicking on the buy me coffee link below the video. Thank you.